How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the recent game Scourge Bringer. I put out a quick poll over on our Patreon that was just four random games that have recently released and I was interested in checking out any one of them. This is the one that won the popular vote. It's a roguelike fast-paced platformer. It's been repeatedly described as kind of like Dead Cells meets Celeste, which is a very interesting combo. We don't know where it came from and why it started to spread the scourge across our lands. The Scourge Bringer, our end. Well, it makes sense that the Scourge Bringer would bring Scourge. It's kind of what it does. The countless deaths it brought is our new reality. Oh, there's like a guy checking out the portal there. We ventured in it, hoping to find answers. No one has ever returned from its depths. Oh man, the art style and the colors are already so cool. Kyra, go forth, my child. You were the strongest of our clans, our last light. The cool flaming flowing hairstyle. May you accomplish the impossible task of repelling this ordeal. Sky beams. Always got to be watching out for those sky beams. The scourge bringer awaits. The unknown. Well, we know that it's the bringer of scourge. We know that much, at least. All right, there's going to be some need to get familiar with the controls, I'm sure. Hostile environment detected. Enabling anti-threat protocols. Proceed with caution. I, I feel like uh, there's, there will probably be like a short little tutorial area to get me familiar with the mechanics. Because, like, going in uh, fresh to something that's, like, all about very precise platforming and everything might be a little daunting otherwise. There's... Pretty intuitive controls overall so far. Lockdown in progress. Unknown threat spotted. Suggesting dispatch using force to lift the lockdown. So what you're saying is smash that guy up real good. Oh man, you can keep just like chaining together uh, airborne attacks like that. It slows down your movement a little bit so you can kind of keep things going. Out of range enemies. Suggesting da dash attacks to reach distant threats. Ooh, okay. Boom. Okay, that's really cool, actually, because then you can dash around and then and then continue your combo, and like you can keep dashing after you land a hit. Like landing a hit seems to reset your movement. Caution: you have been harmed during dash attacks. You can be harmed. Can be harmed. Long reach required to exit, suggesting combining double jump and dash attack. I I also wanted to check if that candle was anything. It's not. Weakness analyzed. A heavy smash attack will be very effective if timed properly. So I have a different style of attack. I'm going to dash over and then BAM! BAM! <laughs> the way it's ricocheting around is very satisfying. Dashing, dashing over and then and then going back for more. Oh, I totally was supposed to, to do it once he had the the exclamation mark. Like, I, I totally wasn't timing it the way I was supposed to. Oh, okay, wait. Now, all of a sudden, that there's, like, a few different combo options. I'm not feeling quite as effective. Oh, uh, I missed that. Suggesting uh, using close combat force to refill unit energy. So that's, that's his energy, I'm pretty sure. My little helper guys. Weapon refilled long-range bullets available blast for rapid disposal of threats. Bam, bam. Okay, you can you can shoot it quite a bit. There's like clearly uh, an ammo thing off to the side there, off to the left. Okay, things are coming together quite well. Who should go through the ordeal shall be gifted by the blood and bear its mark. Blood is power. Thou shalt seek its power. Yeah, send me through the ordeal. I'm ready. Ain't no thing. I'm ready for it. Although... <laughs> I'm already having some some issues, I would say. Dang. <laughs> this thing, uh... I, should I be, maybe I should be using dodging to try and evade a little bit rather than just using it to run at things. Gives 3 HP back with the demon horn. Quantum distortions detected. Analyzing. Identification of a portal to an unknown place. Possible exit. Enabling mapping sensors. Ah, nice. So we can actually see where, where to go to. Send me through. I feel prepared. One, the entangled ingress. Arriving at unknown location. High density of threats detected. Extreme caution applies. Okay, 
I'm glad that I do have uh, some mapping capabilities. It was uncertain if that was actually going to become present. Oh, I think I will not go at that guy right away. Oh shit, there's, there's like uh, spike things on the ground and stuff as well that I wasn't ready for. Dope. Blew that bad boy up. The dashing. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the dashing. The dash attacks <laughs> feel really great. And then you can chain together some sick stuff. See, I was waiting, I was waiting to see if he would bring up one of those exclamation mark moments, because I think that's when you're most meant to use your, your big heavy attacks against things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. See, I think, I think that was well done. God, there's a lot to be mindful of with all the spikes on the floors and everything as well. Shit. Oh, God. Still not, still not finishing him off. Dash, heavy. Perfect. That's what I was trying to build up to. Ah, so many spikes all over the floors. I'm trying to avoid that, but it just keeps coming. Is this like, does this thing count as a boss or something? Because it's messing me up quite royally. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, one health left. I'm boned. I'm so boned. The chiming tree? That's, is that where you go in between runs? Damn, that didn't last long. <coughs> ah, are you a new faded? That's grand. <coughs> I've been waiting an eternity by the tree for a new expedition. Who am I? G Garo, I guess. I'm from Expedition 6. Or was that 16? What's about this place? The Great Chiming Tree. That's the reason you arrived here. The reason you're still alive, I guess. I can't remember why I'm here. I must help. Ha! <laughs> Blood. Blood is power. I need to think. I'll just leave you to it. The gift. That small glowing altar by the tree. Thinking. Thinking. All right, I'll go. I'll go check it out. I'll go. I'll go hang on the altar. Oh, there's uh, some like permanent progression, like I suppose. Gives one more permanent max HP. It just costs one unlock or lightning travel allow us to fast travel to any visited room from the map. I'm gonna go with the additional HP. And now I can go further down the tree, creates a wave attack upon landing on the ground from a dash. But I can't, can't access that just yet. Instead, I'm gonna pop back out to the entangled ingress and try to, try to live. <laughs> it's gonna be my main, my main goal here. I like these, uh, you know, big fat bat characters and things. Uh, the fact that you can still get hit while you're doing your dashing make thing, makes things real tricky. It's like, it seems like it would be such an effective way to dodge and avoid things. Instead, uh, I guess I need to put more focus on just general acrobatics. Like just being prepared to, to run when things are getting ready to attack like that, rather than just staying. If you just stay on the offensive, attack, attack, attack then that seems like you're, you're really leaving yourself open. Vault sealed. Quantum distortions detected beyond. Hmm. I don't think I'm actually affecting anything. That might be like a true proper boss. I don't know. Maybe the thing I, I had gone to before didn't count as a boss. Maybe it was only a, a mini boss or something. Or maybe that's just how you access a new area but I clearly am gonna want to build up to that. Uh, there, it's kind of it's kind of nice to learn more precisely what types of attacks all the different enemies use. Like now I know that that thing attacks in little, little burst fires of three. So if I know it's about to attack, but I know it's not just gonna send like an endless barrage. Okay, the, the impact effects and everything of you actually getting hit are very cool, very well done. I'm I'm appreciative of that. You know, screen shake, color changes, all that sort of stuff. It's easy to overdo and like excessive. I think it's well done in this game, especially 
considering how much is going on on screen continuously, if it was poorly done, then it would be very difficult to like track what's going on a lot of the time. God damn it. These, basically any enemy that shoots wave attacks like that has been uh, rather difficult for me. I guess I haven't really been making use of my, my range attacks. I should use that more against some of the stronger enemy types, like the those big horned demons that pop up and stuff. Like that guy. That's like the, the ideal candidate for using that against. Shit, I thought I would be just out of range of that. Like that. Shoot, shoot those guys up. Should make better use. Holy shit. Uh, this seems like the sort of game that's gonna take some serious practicing to, like, really refine your skills with. Because right now, as is, I'm taking some pretty heavy hits. But already I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. But I, I have to say it's not going great. Being down to one health again already. That those look maybe breakable. Concerns me a little bit, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to go about this exceedingly cautiously. Trying to like single out enemies and things. Oh my god. If I can, if I can take things out one at a time in a way that like makes sense. Oh god, I'm so lucky that that actually protects you. <laughs> like this, these platforms, I can move through them obviously like that. Luckily, bullets cannot. What is this on the mini map? It looks like a little water drop or something. Hey, what's up, dude? I could really use a hand. Oh, here comes a new faded on the brink of madness. Welcome to your last resting place. Hee <laughs> hee he. What am I doing here? Same thing as you, lost soul. Looking for answers. That feels very... What the hell is the Diablo character's name? The witch. Uh, Adria? I sense a soul in search of answers? Adria? Something like that. I'm, I feel like I'm slightly off. No, I believe there are none. Let's say I wander these shifting walls for my own project. I can be of your assistance if you feel like it. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. I'm a wandering merchant, to put it simply. You will most likely need goods to repel those ordeals, won't you? Let me show you my wares. Oh, and I won't take money. I want those shiny droplets of yours. The blood. They have their use around here. Name's Greed, by the way. Ha <laughs> Please drop by any time. That is to say, with droplets. Drop. Good pun. Shit's more expensive than I thought. Minigun. Do you need raw firepower? Disgusting. Please make it disappear. The cucumber. What? Hopefully it just heals me. And Strange Egg gives back 2 HP. Shit. Well, I don't know what the cucumber's gonna do. That I basically have to buy that one. Even though it was crazy expensive. That was like everything I had. It felt like a real, like a, a major ripoff. Like I certainly wasn't getting my money's worth on that one. I guess he is, he literally named himself Greed. So I guess I shouldn't expect him to have, have uh, the best prices or anything, you know? He's probably looking out for himself more than anything. Ha 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 ha! My abilities are becoming better. This looked like a little eye. Oh shit. Right. I uh, didn't occur to me that it might be this guy. All right, I put so much focus last time in trying to land, damn it. Trying to land the big heavy attacks. Honestly, that might still be the best strategy against this particular thing. That seems to be very specifically what it wants me to do. But I'm gonna be more choosy about when I actually, when I go for it. Slowly chipping away. Now nah, I'm fleeing that one. Oh god. Okay. I was kind of. I timed my double jump like really poorly and thought every time I run in there like that, I think he's gonna start shooting at me before I have the chance. Holy sh. 
hit. Seismic activity detective disposing of this threat might have unblocked an exit. Strange egg, don't mind if I do. I really desperately need health back, so I'm I'm down. I am down for that. I'm I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful here that I can keep this run going a little bit longer. I didn't want it to be as embarrassingly short as the last one. I don't know if you guys can tell, I squeezed in like a heavy hit there to, to interrupt that. I felt pretty slick about that. That's a cool thing you can do, is get in there with your regular XXX combo and then do one Y when, when the opportunity comes to interrupt him attacking you. The Altar of Blood, choose one blood blessing. So this would be like the freebie treasure. I don't seem to actually have to pay for this one. Double bleeding doubles your current blood stock or gives 500 drop it, droplets if it's below 250. It is. Floor is lava. For each enemy killed while not touching the ground, Kyra gets plus 10 sword damage. Wall run is allowed. Oh man, so if you just keep hopping around on the walls and stuff, which I mostly do, and increase maximum HP by 33%, that's huge. That's really big, and I think I need that. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and claim that one. Literally any of those could have been cool or useful in their own way, though. It's definitely tempted to just buy buy up the blood thing and try to or take take the 500 blood droplets and go buy everything at the store. That could have been cool. There's definitely like potential there. Shit. I was trying to, I was trying to chain together cool stuff without even though I didn't take the thing that's like additional power for not touching the ground it seems like good practice you know to try to not touch the ground it's funny that like pretty much it seems like pretty well every enemy type has uh, an exclamation mark moment like you can interrupt just about anything I didn't mean to get so <laughs> tied up like that. That was... <sighs> that little section of that room, at the very least, was quite poorly done by me. I think my... <laughs> my confidence maybe uh, got the better of me there. I was expecting more from myself. Trying too hard to do fancy shit. Alright, I'm buying the cucumber. <laughs> the achievement I got is cucumber free. What does it list that as? Uh, make the world cucumber free. <laughs> oh, so you can play. Okay, you can play with the mouse if you if you prefer. I'm I'm kind of enjoying this, and it has like I don't know. It's it's easy enough to point yourself in the direction you want to go, and it to a little bit helps you stick to enemies while while you're chaining it together a combo. So that like it, it, even though I typically am not the best with the joystick. It's the controls in this are so tight and fluid that it is completely not an issue for me. I'm I'm th I'm thinking it's the way to go. I'm wondering if basically all I did is the next time that I encounter the shopkeeper, there will be three proper items instead. Body boulder, judge body boulder. Oh god damn it! Well, that was a terrible start to that, and there's spikes on the grounds. That was uh, such a terrible. Terrible attempt at a boss fight. Come on, man. Snoozing away. Not gonna help at all. Creates a wave attack upon landing on the ground from a dash. Allows fast travel to any visited room from the map. That doesn't sound that exciting, but what 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 was it get up to? What's the next thing after it? Builds a combo meter based on your speed and attack variety. The bigger the meter, the more droplets. Combos get halved if hit. And I, I don't even have access to some of these other guys yet. That sounds more interesting. This I don't care about that much, but I kind of want the combo thing. So that you can rake in more droplets. That seems like it would be more long-term beneficial. I'll try, I'll try one more, one more run here. Oh, if you do go to the, the pause menu, you can quickly see how your, your various stats have been affected so far by the different things you, you've picked up. See, there's there's the, the type of interruption that I'm trying to go for. Although, that one I had to bail on. I, I'm, I'm way overusing the dash. Oh 
God, that was that thing waiting? Like, I think it might have been waiting for me to be uh, extra, extra heart. That's sweet. For for the other things to be dead before it even attacked. I feel like if you dash too much, too often, you kind of lose the effectiveness of it. It's hard. It's harder to plan your next attack and actually like chain things together in a in a meaningful, useful way. So I gotta I gotta try and be more conscious of that. Gives back two HP. Cool. Keep hooking me up, and I immediately get one of the blood altars, which is great. <laughs> Glad to have found that so quickly. Fusion core. Blast 3-2. Reloading energy slowly recharges automatically while there are enemies around. Lay down arms. Weapons drop randomly upon finishing a room. Like every room? And 5% shop discount per missing HP capped at 50%. That's pretty cool. That could be pretty useful. I'm going to go with lay down arms because it seems like that could build up and be really excessive really quickly. And so I'm kind of curious, like, what? That seems like just so much. Like, like the, the game would be giving me almost too much to work with. Like, I wouldn't, ex I, I don't expect this game to have any real forgiveness. And all of a sudden it's going to hook me up after every single room. Oh, okay, like, I'm not, I'm not going to pick up the strange egg right now because it seems like I'd be better off saving it for when I actually need it, hoping that it actually uh, lasts. I don't I don't actually know for certain if that'll be the case. Oh, that's satisfying. Here's a good opportunity to check. Dope. So I don't I don't need it right now, but it's nearby. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Hmm, I just had a thought. I wonder if there are secret rooms and secret access points. It's something I could keep an eye out for, but I don't know how. I don't have bombs or anything. That's like the, the typical game. Oh, I was trying to dash away from that. Didn't quite get there in time. Every time, hey? Increase max health. That blood altar thing that I acquired is going to be way overpowered. I'm either going to gain bonus stats or just heal after every room. Like, seems OP to me, but I could use the help. So I'm, I'm not going to complain. I'm trying to use my heavy attacks of, in, in fun, satisfying combos, but not quite. Ended up just opening myself up to a lot of attacks. The, I, I just kind of took a, took a moment there to, I don't know, catch my breath and just evaluate what I was doing. But it was also the first time I really stopped to listen to the soundtrack. Didn't work. The duck didn't work. Uh, it's funny because it kicks in specifically in those rooms and then cuts out again as soon as you're like out of danger. But it's funny because you're fighting so continuously most of the time. Guess not when you're backtracking quite so much. But it's, it's just uh, funny how dynamic the soundtrack I guess is in that in that way man now now I'm gonna be super glad to have all the extra health dropping and everything now that I'm botching this so royally holy shit oh my god I can't believe I dodged that slug kebab <laughs> there's a lot of variety in the types of uh, health pickups and things that the game dishes out like the eggs the kebab there's just a there's just a lot Come on, man. Land somewhere. There we go. I want you to spawn somewhere where I actually have a real chance of getting in there in time. Shit. That was my chance. The last time I fought this guy was way easier. He kept spawning somewhere where I, I easily had access to him. I gotta play way more defensively here. Oh, good. Okay. I was not playing very wisely. Took a lot of damage. There's a shop here, at least. Oh, the Demon Horn. I can't even afford it. Infected Rounds increases damage and from, from the Blast 32. And that, which I can afford. Automatic Weapon as 12. Like, ammo. 
I guess I could try it out. I I think I need to save up for health. It's if I if I really want to make it further, I think that's going to be pretty important. That may be the first time one of those floating eye things actually hurt me. I hadn't quite known ha what their attack was or anything. All I knew was that they were quite easy to dispatch. I just want to stay alive, you know. <laughs> That boss battle is going to be messed up enough as is. It's giving me enough trouble. If I can have the advantage of, like, additional health and everything, I think I might as well take it. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was some really failed platforming. Bashing my head on the roof and dropping down into the spikes like that. Real embarrassing. Terribly done. I do like that, though. I do like dashing down into something and feeling like you've just uh, executed a sick ground pound on them. Oh, I almost didn't notice that those were spikes. Yeah, that guy's about to go nuts. Oh, God, he fires so much more than I was ready for, honestly. I knew he shot a lot at once, but that, that was even more than I was expecting. Hey, I don't think anything dropped in that room. I thought I was supposed to get stuff in every room. What kind of rip-off is that, you know? Ground Pound. See, that Ground Pound is so fun that it seems like it would be worth investing in the power-up that's like, send a wave of energy that deals damage when you Ground Pound things. Probably will end up picking that up. I only have one point to invest. That's like the only remaining thing that is, is a one-point investment. So, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to end up doing it. Must keep things at bay. Ah! <laughs> Wait, can you start? Okay, I got to try this. Start charging that up. Oh, shit. You can, you can like... Okay, it doesn't take that long to actually do. But you can charge it up as you're dashing so that it can kind of, like, be ready to go once you've dashed. You don't have to dash and then do it. That's a that's cool. And if I had learned to do that very precisely, then that would be super rad to, to dash slice into things like that. That would be a great way to, to interrupt them when they're getting ready for that sort of stuff. This might always be the body boulder. Come on, man. That's too much. I don't know what to do. I guess I I guess I have to like jump over when he does that. I, I, I guess I, as he's making his way across, you probably have to jump, jump, dash up to get over top of his hands while he's raining that shit down. I don't know, man. That guy is kicking my ass very thoroughly. Creates a wave attack upon landing on the ground from a dash. The next thing gives two more permanent HP. And after that, Dirty Berry. Start with a more powerful blast blast boy I'm guessing you don't always start the entangled ingress just for now that's the case I just wanted to show off that that dash wave landing there you can see see that does it does it go further than that even oh it's got it's got a pretty good outward range I think that is all I'm gonna play of scourge bringer for now I was really excited to check it out it's pretty much what I was hoping it's literally a more platforming focused more fast pace dead cells in a lot of ways that's maybe that's even unfair to this game because it's it's clearly got a different focus in terms of how you progress your character and equip them and things like that there's there's some unique stuff going on the art is absolutely gorgeous i'm loving the, the color and everything i'm already feeling like i'm getting a, a better feel for things which is very promising I'll, I'll wait to see what the overall response is to this video for now. I'm leaving it as one of the, the many one-offs. There's just so many roguelikes out there. They'll go in like the 60 video long playlist of all the roguelikes played on the channel. If you didn't know that existed, yeah, I'll have that in the end cards. There's a lot of them out there. Thank you again to the patrons of the channel. Chuck their name up on the screen here. You guys can thank them for, for voting for this particular video. I still plan to have public and Patreon exclusive votes, so don't feel like you you have to contribute to participate in future votes for series. 
I just want people to be aware of that. I, I try to try to make it equally divided between both. So there's opportunity for people who can and, and can't currently support things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.